What's up, and you welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry, my voice is going a little bit, but today we are taking a look at some very, something very interesting, something that we haven't looked at on the channel before. We are taking a deep dive into the new anime figures and the anime news that is coming out over the next few days. We have a load of figures. They've all been released by Good Smile on their Instagram. We're going to be taking a look at Nindroids. Um, some normal Banpestro figures. Sorry if I do pronounce any of these names wrong. I'm going to be taking a look at a lot of animes that I haven't seen, some that just look cool, some that I have seen, and some that are even anime but are made by people who usually make anime figures. Like this one, which is the Friday Night Funkin' Dude. He is an android. He does look very cool. I do like him, and he is very poseable. We are getting a Banpestro, I do believe, um, figures for uh, Cyberpunk. Here is David, I think he's very cool. We are still pending licenses approval, um, but I am gonna get David. David looks really cool. I like the cyberpunk anime style. I like the game. I'm still yet to finish it on the channel. Don't worry, we are still on it. Uh, I haven't finished the anime. I've watched the first two episodes, but here are the other two characters from the series. They do look cool, and they are getting their own little ninjroids as well. Ninjroids, you can basically pull apart the hair, the face, change the facial expressions, Put them in little poses. They're like little dolls um, that you can dress. Well, you can't dress, but like pose them about and stuff like that. I have Joe Turo and Joseph Josta um, as Nindroids. And then we are also going to be getting her soon. I don't know her name, but we're going to be getting her soon. We are also going to get some Doki Doki Literature Club stuff. Um... It does say pending licenses, final approval. So these are just sort of concepts, mock-ups, um, like prototypes. And then once they've been like finalized, accepted by the people who make the anime and shows and games and whatever, they'll be officially released, sent out, made. People can buy them for like 30 quid. Here we have Master Chief, which is a shock to me. I did not think we'd get a Master Chief one, but damn, here he is. Um, we also have this dude. I think he looks badass as fuck, but I don't know what he's from. I really like his creepy looking grin, his sort of flowing hair. He's got two massive ass guns. And then we have some Undertale here. We have the main, the character you play as from Undertale. We got the flower, Flowey. Don't know what he's called. And then the mother figure. I don't know who she is. We have a Blue Lock figure coming out soon as well, which I do like. I am going to watch Blue Lock soon. It is on the watch list. And here it is. I like how it includes a football with the figure. Uh, we also have a Hawks Nindroid. We have some My Hero stuff coming out. It all seems to be about Hawks this time, though. We have, like, a Hawks figure and a Hawks Nindroid. Um, Nindroid, Nindroid. Hawks. A lot of Hawks simps and, like, fangirls and fanboys of Hawks are going to be getting these. Um, then we have these dolls, which is, like, real, like, fabric for their clothing. And some have, like, real fabric for the hair, which I think is cool. But we have Rengoku and Gyro. Gyro I don't know his name, but the water sort of dude. Uh, and then we also have the Butterfly Girl coming soon is one of these as well. These aren't really my favorite um, Hashiras. I much prefer the Forgetful one. And um, Tengen. Here we have some um, Attack on Titan ones. We have Sasha, Armin, Mikasa. And Aaron. I'm pretty shocked that we only have these few um, and not the rest of them. Like, Levi would be a good one to make. Uh, but good to see that we've got Attack on Titan ones now. It's, it, it seems really late to be getting Attack on Titans because these, these ones seem to be based off Series 1, 2, or 3 of Attack on Titan. Um, I think they're very cool. They've got a lot of detail, a lot of small detailing as well. Um, looks like uh, it'll be over over and cumbersome for like some angles maybe you might not be able to like hold them up in the air by the like stand uh, I have no idea what the hell this is it's a cluster of stuff but I think it's cool as shit this one's pretty basic but I think he's pretty cool I want to know what he's from because I like his eyes and I like his hair I don't know if they're glasses or eyes or hair or what but then we have this subtle like wolf man reminds me of the wolf from Sonic like with the werehog unleashed just with the hands and the hair and the smile the creepy smile he looks familiar then we have a big Tengen figure this is like a huge one um probably one of your more expensive ones costs around like 200 pounds um you know 
take a look at all the new anime figures here. We have dolls as well, like Nindroid dolls, uh, which have fake hair as well as like fabric clothes. And these are from like the Bongo Stray Dogs. And I think they've done a pretty good job with these. I think they've done a really good job with like the designs and stuff and all the fabrics. Um, but I imagine it getting damaged pretty easily. Um, we are going to get some more Hashiras for the Nindroid series with, um, I forget her name, the forgetful Hashira, and I'm pretty sure Tengen as well, just to complete the Hashira Soda collection that we have going on here. Um, but these seem to be coming from the latest season and the newest season, which is about to come out, because we also have uh, this demon, also forget his name. We also have Tanjiro, no, Techno, um, Rengoku's brother, uh, as well as an android, which I'm quite shocked at. I didn't think he was a main character enough to get his own android, but he does have one, so it's nice to have like a full collection of demon slayers. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. I know it's a bit of a weird one. Didn't have that much information. I'm not going to be getting many of these, if any.